Well, hello, fellow film fans, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Tyler's Real Movie Talk. And in this video, I'm going to tell you why I think Avengers Infinity War is the best MCU movie to date. And really why I'm going to go into details of why I believe that. So there are spoilers for Avengers Infinity War in this video. You've been warned. If you have not seen it, click out of this video, go to your local theater, go see it, and then come back and jump in the discussion with me about why I think Avengers Infinity War is the best MCU movie to date. But before we get into all that, if you're a fan of movie talk, movie reviews, and really everything of that nature, definitely consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell down below, which will notify you anytime I have any new content coming out. But with that out of the way, let's get right into why I think Infinity War is the best MCU movie to date. And really, the reason why is because the stakes of this film are so great, and this movie is so epic. It is the most epic of the MCU films, and you know, you really feel the stakes of this movie. Now look, the first Avengers is still a lot of people's favorite MCU movie, and I can totally understand why. It's just not mine, mainly because it's more meant to be fun. You don't really feel the stakes throughout. I never really felt like, oh man, you know, the Avengers could really lose to Loki. He's definitely not that type of villain. Honestly, I kind of felt like Thor could have beat Loki by himself if he really wanted to. I really felt like in that movie, Thor held back for most of it because he didn't want to defeat Loki. So really, I mean, that movie was more meant to be fun than it was, you know, dangerous. You were never supposed to feel a sense of danger for the Avengers. And let me tell you, for what it was, it definitely hit on the fun notes. And it is one of my favorite MCU movies to date. But to me, it is just not the best. And the same goes with Age of Ultron. You know, Ultron, with the first 30 minutes that you see Ultron, it's great. You're like, man, you know, this could really be a dangerous villain for the Avengers. And then Joss Whedon takes it a total different route by making him a wisecracking joke bot, which which just totally ruined it for me because I never really felt a sense of danger with Ultron either, especially not the sense of danger we could have felt from a super bot made out of vibranium, if you know what I mean. He could have been way more dangerous. He could have been way more scary. And really, the first 15 to 30 minutes that you see him on screen, you're really on board with it. You're like, okay, yeah, this would be terrifying if this actually happened. And then through halfway through the movie, it takes a completely different route, and he becomes like Tony Stark for some reason. I cannot figure out for the life of me why Joss Whedon did that, and it just did not work for that film. That film could have been so much better if Ultron was more fleshed out and he was more terrifying like they promised he would be but didn't deliver. And also, the movie, every MCU movie just doesn't feel like it has a lot of stakes, like I said earlier. But this movie, you can feel the weight of the stakes. And like I said, it makes it epic. The build-up to this film, you know, what is it, 18 or 19 MCU movies build up to this film. And every scene, almost every scene in this film seems epic epic in you know nature and it's just so great to see that from an MCU film because we haven't really gotten that and they delivered on that and also why Avengers Infinity War is the best MCU movie is it has the best villain and that also like I said adds to the stakes of the film because Thanos is so powerful because he's so dangerous because he's so smart and intelligent it really adds to the stakes of the film and you really get this sense this weight of man how are the Avengers going to defeat this guy because you know you see on the planet Titan when Tony Stark is going, you know, toe-to-toe -to -toe with Thanos, and he's putting everything he has into it, and really only gets one little drop of blood, like Thanos said, you know, all of that for a drop of blood, you know, it was really heartbreaking to see, because it's like, man, the Avengers are completely helpless against this guy, and you've never seen that before, even Captain America can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Thanos, he gets destroyed, you know what I mean, everybody, Hulk gets destroyed, Thor in the beginning of the movie is absolutely destroyed, he can't do anything, he's powerless because Thanos beat him down that bad, I mean, he is just a great villain and it added so much to Avengers Infinity War. And really, you know, the the best villain besides Thanos in the MCU is Killmonger. And look, Black Panther is definitely up there in terms of my favorite MCU movies, but it's just not number one right now. After seeing Infinity War, I've seen it three times now. And after seeing it in repeat viewings, it really cemented to me that this is the best MCU movie. And I definitely probably would have Civil War right behind it. But like I said, Avengers Infinity War offers too much, especially from the villain perspective. That is just great. And that brings me to my next point, excuse me. 
and that is the Avengers actually lose. We've never seen the Avengers lose. Now, look, we've seen them come close. You know, they came close in Ultron to losing, but this movie, they actually lose, and you know what I mean? What's so great about them actually losing is you never really see it coming. I mean, I had my predictions that Thanos would win, but the way it happens is really heartbreaking, and you know, you see Peter die, you see Bucky die, you see Black Panther die, and it's really just gut-wrenching the way they do it, but at the same time, even though the Avengers lose, the heroic moments in this movie are absolutely phenomenal. There are so many heroic moments in this movie that give you the goosebumps, that give you the chills, especially if you've grown with these characters and you love these characters so much, like I do. Like, look, Captain America, when he first shows up, chills, goosebumps. What a great way to introduce Captain America in this film. That is such a heroic moment. Him coming out of the shadows and saving Vision and Scarlet Witch is just phenomenal. It was a great way to set that scene up, and the really watching it all played out was fantastic. And also, the most heroic moment of the movie, in my opinion, is obviously when Thor shows up on Wakanda. That is the best part of the whole movie. It literally gave me chills. The arm, the hair on my arms were raised when that happened because he shows up. The old Avengers theme music is playing so loud. And you just get this sense that, oh man, we're being saved now. Thank God Thor is here. You know what I mean? And it was just great because he shows up and he kicks so much ass. He makes the other Avengers look like nothing. I think he definitely proved that he is the strongest Avenger in this this movie because that's a debate a lot of people have is it hulk is it thor i think we know now i think it's thor because he shows up in that wakanda battle and just takes basically all those little you know outriders out single-handedly especially when the avengers and black panther captain america and hulk in the hulk buster they were getting destroyed right before he showed up and then he shows up and the tables turn in that battle and that was fantastic now, my last point of why Infinity War is the best MCU movie to date is simply because the sense of emotion and sacrifice for the Avengers is there. And even for the Guardians, look, when, when Star-Lord is about to kill Gamora because, you know, she told him that you have to because she knows basically where the Soul Stone is and if Thanos finds that out, he will take her and the whole stake of the universe, I mean, the whole universe could be at stake. Just a great emotion and great sacrifice. Even at the end, Scarlet Witch killing Vision, even though Thanos reverses time. Even that scene was so emotional, and you've really never felt the sense of sacrifice that the Avengers have, you know? Even Tony going to Titan when he tells Spider-Man, this is a one-way trip. He's already planned out that, you know what, I might die in this, but you know what, it is worth it because the universe is at stake, and he tells Peter Parker, this is a one-way trip. Don't tell me you've thought this through because you haven't. You think we're gonna go back eventually. There's a good chance we're not going back. This this is it, you know, and, you know, even if we had a chance to go back, we don't know how to get back. I thought that was great, and like I said, the stakes of the film and the, just the sacrifices the Avengers have to make and the Guardians is just phenomenal and is so well set up in this movie that it really makes it the number one Marvel movie for me, in my opinion. But that's what I think. Definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What are your rankings for the Marvel film so far? Is this number one? Is this number two? Is it number three? Or where does it rank? Or do you agree or disagree with my thoughts on Avengers Infinity War? And why or why not? I want to hear all your guys' opinion on this. And and if you guys like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up and share it around with all of your friends. But with all that out of the way, thank you for watching.